Hi everyone, my name is Amanda Maggia and this is my presentation on Leesylvania Plantation. So the Leesylvania Plantation is located in Woodbridge, Virginia. And this plantation was most famously known for being the home to Henry Lee II and his wife, Lucy Grimes. So at first, this house was built in 1655 by the colonists. They used this property as part of their head right system where colonists were, um, going over to Virginia were given 50 acres of land. Then the land ultimately was resided in by the Lees in 1747. So among the Lee family, there were around 55 enslaved people that were there. Eventually, when Henry Lee II and Lucy Grimes died, the land was passed down to their children, and eventually it was sold to the Fairfax family. So some of the history about this site um, in general was not only the 55 enslaved people that saw this site as their home, but it also received a lot of action during the Civil War. So during the Civil War, the Confederate troops, which were led by Robert E. Lee, whose grandfather once resided on the plantation, um, so they utilized different points throughout the plantation to plan their attacks on the U Union Army. They were um, cutting down some of the trees and going to the highest points of the plantation kind of to use that as a looking ground to watch out for any of the Union Army that was on their way about. Ultimately, we see the destruction of the plantation um, when the Fairfaxes were there in 1910. So it was burned down, leaving nothing except a corner of the Lee's home site and what little remains of the siding of the Fairfaxes home. So if you see the bottom left picture, there is a signage hanging up showing where the Lee home once was. And then if you look to the picture all the way on the right, you see the empty ground where the Lee home would have been in reference size. And then the picture is smack in the middle of the page, which is the built like the bricks. That is the cornerstone of what, what once was of the Lee home, and it's what little remains of the house itself. So that building, um, like through the brick representation, is located in the Leesylvania State Park Visitor Center. So ultimately, the efforts to save this plantation has been done through the use of archival records and the interpretation of the plantation itself. So, like I said, there is a corner left of the house, which is located in the Leesylvania State Park Visitor Center, as well as those signs hanging up throughout the state park. On the left, in grayscale, you see what once was um, the Fairfax home. You just see a little bit of it because it was burned down and that was all that was remaining. And then the picture right next to that one on the right, is still in the state park. It is that same exact building infrastructure, what is left just in color because it is still standing. So that's a more recent picture. So ultimately through the archives, we are able to interpret the plantation, seeing um, what used to be and how it's being used now and preserved. Ultimately, archives can help spread awareness about our history and once remained, and it can also help visitors understand the history. So without the use of archives, we would have never know that um, the transformation of ownership happened. We would not know as much information about the plantation itself, let alone the number of people that live there and the amount of people that um, were enslaved over there at the time because most of this building burnt down and there is little to remain. Historians and people in general are heavily relying on archival help and the documentation that occurs through the archives. On the left is my work cited, which basically shows where I got all of my information from and the pictures as well. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this brief insight into the Lee Sylvania Plantation.